Hello and welcome back to this podcast uh, about uh, Animal Farm. Through the extremely vague symbolism, Orwell tackles the horrors of the Soviet dictatorship by representing its two generation into oppression through the Travails of animals who liberate the farm from humans. This book saw the author rightfully earn his reputation as the premier political novelist of his generation. Joseph uh, Orwell was born in India. Uh, in uh, 1903, uh, he was born. His father was an official uh, British, who worked for the British government there. He died in 1950 something. I don't really remember the exact dates. And uh, welcome back to this podcast. <coughs> Eric Blair was born and spent his youth in India. He was educated at Eton in England from 1922 to 27. He served in the Indian Imperial Police in Burma. Through his autobiographical work about poverty in London, uh, between brackets, down and out in Paris and London, 1933, his experience in colonial Burma, Burmese days, 1934, he wrote Burmese days, and in the Spanish Civil War, homage to Catalonia 1938 and the plight of unemployed coal miners in England, the road to Wigan Fire 1937, Blair who wrote under the name George Orwell exposed and corrected the human tendency to oppress other, others politically, economically, and physically. Orwell particularly hated totalitarianism, and his most famous novels, Animal Farm, 1945, and the book which he named or he titled 1984, it's the, the date, it's a date, but it's the name of a book. He wrote it in 1949. <laughs> okay, are profound condemnations of totalitarian regimes. Owen died at the age of 47 after failing to treat a lung ailment, lung cancer maybe. Historical context, in 1917, Two successive revolutions rocked Russia and the world. The first revolution overthrew the Russian monarchy, the Tsar, the Kaiser, and the sect established the USSR, the world's first communist state. Over the next 30 years, the Soviet government descended into a totalitarian regime that used and manipulated socialist ideas of equality among the working class to oppress its people and maintain power. Animal Farm is an allegory of the Russian Revolution and the Communist Soviet Union.
Many of the animal characters in Animal Farm have direct correlations to figures or institutions in the Soviet Union. Related literary works Always subtitled Animal Farm, a fairy story. Characters in fairy tales tend to be two-dimensional stereotypes used to, several, to reveal some broad observation about life. As the critic C.M. Wardhouse wrote in a piece of Animal Farm in 1954, a fairy tale has no moral. It simply says, life is like that. Take it or leave it. Animal Farm uses the format of a fairy tale to expose the evils of totalitarian exploitation. Rather than attack totalitarianism directly, the book shows its offenses plainly and clearly and lets the reader deduce the dangers posed by, the, by totalitarian governments. The literary work most often mentioned alongside Animal Farm is 1984. Another Orwell novel, 1984, published in 1949, envisions a future in which a dictatorship monitors and controls the actions of all of its citizens. Like an infant in 1984, depicted the horrific constraints and that totalitarian governments would impose on human freedom. Okay, that's it. Stop here. Okay, we can surface ourselves with this amount of information about him still.